Wow, this game is actually good. I It has some faults, like all games, but it's Half-Life 1 Gold Source. I mean, it's hard to fuck that up, right? It's just so fun to play through and the guns feel awesome, everything just feels right. So in Half-Life Blue Shift, you play as Barney Calhoun, one of the security guards in Black Mesa during Half-Life- uh, oh shit, the game's over, never mind. So I knew that this game was short when I was going into it, I actually found on a website that it said Half-Life veterans would probably beat this game in around three hours, usually. And I was like, well, I'm gonna go slow through the game, and I'm not a Half-Life veteran, so it's probably gonna take me about five hours. And that very same website said that's what I could expect. Um, yeah, no, I beat this game in two hours and 30 minutes, not even going fast, and I'm terrible at puzzles. I died a hundred goddamn times. So how do you justify spending five dollars on a game that an idiot like me can beat in two hours and 30 minutes? Mind you, that also includes the time that it takes me to go through the menus, change all my settings, record some things by flying out of bounds to see the G-Man character, and all that stuff. After all that, it only took me 2 hours and 30 minutes total. So my general rule with buying games is if I spent the amount of hours as dollars I spent on the game, I made a good purchase. So now, let's talk about the replay value. Chances are you're never going to play this game again after you play it the first time. A majority of this game's length comes from puzzles. And as anybody who plays Sudoku, Jigsaw puzzles, any of those types of games like word crosses, you know that doing it the second time is pointless. In a Jigsaw, you'll already know where all the pieces go. In a Sudoku, you'll already know where all the numbers go. And in a crossword puzzle, you'll already know where all the words are. Same thing goes with Half-Life Blue Shift. Now that I know where all the puzzles are and how to complete them, I could probably beat this game in under an hour if I really tried to. But tragically, the length of the game is not its biggest fault. One of the bigger ones is the fact that this game doesn't seem to have been made for the Gold Source engine. One of the best attributes of Half-Life 1 is that they knew what the limitations of their engine were. You would think that in 2001 they would realize that this gold source engine is very outdated and they have to play around the fact that they're not able to do everything that they'll want to do. It really, to me, seems like the development team didn't have any say in what was happening in the game. There's a massive part of this game where you have to lead this AI character into a pit. AI pathing in Gold Source, if you've ever played Counter-Strike 1.6, you would know, is dog shit. Now, I am no expert on Gold Source, but what I can tell you is that physics in the Gold Source engine is limited to say the least. As you can see in the background footage, it is almost impossible to get this barrel where I want it to be. And there are many more examples of things that don't really make sense to put in the Gold Source engine. And now we're on to my biggest problem with this game, it's that it rides so much on Half-Life 1. Now I understand that it is basically Half-Life 1 Episode 2, but rather than being its own good experience, it's instead, oh hey look, you were here before. Oh look, that's Gordon Freeman. Hey look, you were having fun in this environment in the previous game, why not have fun in it now? I don't know if people have ever seen Cobra Kai, but this game feels like Cobra Kai. Its entire purpose and entire value is based on, hey look, these are characters from the previous game. Hey look, you already did this before. One of the things I said in my previous recording of this video that I stick by is that this game is like a cake flavored lollipop. You're eating the lollipop and it's good, you're playing Blue Shift and it's fun, but what you're really wanting is a piece of cake or what you're really wanting is to play Half-Life 1, which is just a better game. It reminds you of what you want more than trying to be something in itself. This game is not bad. This game is actually pretty good. But the biggest problem with it is that it's a Half-Life game. If they had made this game an entirely different series, I definitely wouldn't have disliked it. I only think this game is bad because it has to live up to the title of Half-Life. And the way it tries to live up to the Half-Life title is that it leverages the fact that it's a Half-Life game too much. It sits there and constantly reminds you that, hey, this is a Half-Life game, you're supposed to like this. When really the game is mediocre at best, 
and at worst, a bad recreation of what made Half-Life 1 so good. As you guys know if you watched my previous video, I am a big fan of the environmental storytelling in Half-Life 1. How there's no monologues, how there's no, hey look, this is what's happening in the story, let me tell you it so you can understand. That's my favorite part of the Half-Life series, about how little of that is in the Half-Life series. Well, as in games like the Elder Scrolls and Call of Duty, you know, you'll sit there, stop having fun, and listen to some guy talk about what's happening in the story. I like that in its own way, but it's not what I expect from a Half-Life game. And this game has one too many long monologues, and this game has one too many scenes where you've got to stand still and just listen to them. It's got too much of that, and there isn't anything ridiculously bad going on in this game. I, I can't really, you know, shoot it down for any glitches or um, bad experiences that I had while playing the game. It, it just didn't feel like a Half-Life game is my main gripe with the game. It just, it felt like, again, the aftertaste of Half-Life. At first, I didn't really want to encumber this video by putting it in here, but since this video is so short, fittingly enough for the game, I felt like putting it in here. Um, basically, I've been doing this since 2015, idly mostly, just mo posting videos whenever I really felt like it, just having fun with it. And it, it's kind of surreal to me to have 500 people watch a video that I made. So thank you so much for watching this video, and if you watched the Half-Life Source video, thank you so much for watching that one, and I hope you stick around. Like, comment, subscribe, anything you want to do. Thank you.